Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the correlation coefficient in Excel. Microsoft Excel is an efficient tool for storing and retrieving data. In addition to data handling, you can perform a variety of statistical, mathematical, business, and engineering operations. One such operation is calculating and establishing a relationship between two variables or data sets. This is called the correlation coefficient. One method to calculate the correlation coefficient between two data series is by using the Corel function. The Corel function takes two arguments. When array 1 and array 2 represent the cell range that contains the data between which you want to establish a relationship. To find the correlation coefficient, first, select a destination cell. Enter the formula in the destination cell. Press enter. This gives you the correlation coefficient of two arrays of data. Another way to use the Corel function is by selecting it from the formulas. First, select a destination cell. To select the formula, navigate to the Formulas option in the menu bar. Under the Function Library section, click on the drop-down for more functions. From the Statistical section, click on the Corel function. This in turn opens the Function Arguments dialog box. Select the data or enter the data range in the Array text box. You can already see the output as a preview in the dialog box. Click OK and see the output in the selected cell. This gives you the correlation coefficient in the destination cell. The above method of using Corel formula is very effective when you have two data series and want to establish a relationship between them. But when you have multiple variables or data sets and want to calculate the correlation coefficient, this method might be futile. In such cases, you can use the Data Analysis Tool Pack option to find the relationship between multiple data series. The Data Analysis Tool Pack in Excel is disabled by default and needs to be enabled as an additional add-in. To enable the Data Analysis Tool Pack, click on File from the menu bar. Now click on Option from the Categories pane. This opens the Excel Options dialog box. In the dialog box, click on the Add-ins section. From the Manage drop-down, select Excel Add-ins and click on Go. This in turn opens the Add-ins dialog box. Check the checkbox for Analysis Tool Pack from the Add-ins available section. Click OK. This enables the Data Analysis Tool Pack which can be found under the Data Ribbon under the Analysis section. Let us now see how to calculate the correlation coefficient of the above given three sets of data. First, navigate to Data. Under the Analysis section, click on the Data Analysis button. This opens the Data Analysis dialog box. Under the Analysis Tools section, select Correlation and click OK. This opens the Correlation dialog box. In the Input section, enter the Input range. You can either enter the range manually or select the cells to populate the range. Since we have grouped the data into columns, select the Columns radio button from the Group By section. We have also selected the data including headers, so check the checkbox for labels in first row. Finally, Choose the destination where you want to display the output. Click OK. This instantly gives you the correlation coefficient for the selected data series in the destination cell. That is all, everyone. Calculating the correlation coefficient between different data sets of data helps in determining the relationship between two or more data sets. In this video, we saw how to calculate the correlation coefficient in Excel in two proven ways. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And 
click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.